Hello everyone! How are you today? It's Kay. So I hope you had a great weekend. This is Monday on the 17th October 2022. And usually Mondays I take a day off. So um, I usually don't do a live video. But today, as I look back my own strategy, and also my trades, my trading career also, as I look back, I realized one thing that I wanted to share with you, and that's why I decided to take a video. So this is not about the analysis, but this is more of the uh, mental mindset uh, topic. And um, so I have been doing the YouTube for the last almost three years now. Time flies, three years. And I have been sharing my strategy, the way I look at the chart, the way I take trades, entries, exit. I share almost every day on my YouTube channel. Also, I run the Ichimoku community. So I share Ichimoku deep knowledge within the Ichimoku community. Also, the depths of my strategy, KTS, at uh, GTS class. And as I share this knowledge in public and also uh, closed memberships, um, I realize one thing is that the uh, knowledge versus wisdom. Um, so, knowledge is um, necessary to, to make a correct decision, uh, but wisdom is necessary to, to prepare for your uh, correct mindset, in, especially the mindset of the risk management, mindset of not only the entries but also exit, I think the wisdom becomes the very key. Because um, knowledge, if you have more knowledge, then uh, that means you have more, um, uh, more way, ways to think about the markets, ways to um, analyze the markets from different aspects. Let's say if you know only about Ichimoku five lines, for example, then um, you use five lines. But on top of that, if you have the knowledge of the price action, and if you have the knowledge of time cycles and waves, wave analysis and the price targets or Kyushu Ashi, then uh, you have more ways to look at the markets than simply using Ichimoku five lines only. But knowledge does not always relate to the wisdom, is um, what I realized today. Um, because wisdom only comes from the experience, and experience, the correct experience comes from the correct process of um, what you see in the markets and how you understand the markets based on the knowledge you have. So, um, so first, if you're new to the trading, uh, you have to know about the knowledge, otherwise you won't be able to analyze. So knowledge is necessary, first of all. But at the same time, correct knowledge is important too. I've seen in the YouTube or uh, somewhere, somewhere else where people talk about Ichimoku Kinko here, for example. Uh, some, some people say, you know, we don't need Kumo to analyze, we don't need Chikou Span to analyze. We only use Tenkan Kijun Sen and you can still trade. You, can, you don't need Kumo Chikou Span. Sometimes people may say that. Or sometimes people may say, you don't need Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen, only Kumo that works. So you only use Kumo. So, in, you know, other, mem other people may say that. Um, and, uh, but the correct understanding of Ichimoku is to understand the essence of the five lines. Uh, because Goichi Hosoda, the original creator of Ichimoku, uh, created Ichimoku with the five lines. So if you take out one of these lines, then that means you can't get uh, what's happening in the markets in Ichimoku way. So rather than taking out or add something or change the parameters of Ichimoku, my best advice is to use five lines with a default setting. And I say that uh, in my past live stream videos. 
But, uh, and I say this because I was the one also who edited the Ichimoku, the settings. I was using uh, Ichimoku, let's say single span B, not 52, but uh, 26 or sometimes 9. And the Chikou span I sometimes took out because Chikou span is just lagging. And it's a line chart, it's lagging 26. So I thought it's not really important. And I used to replace Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen uh, to uh, moving averages, but still use Ichimoku, Kumo, Kumo Cloud, and used to see charts. And the result was the more I edit Ichimoku and the more I mess up with Ichimoku, then the more my mind also messed up. And uh, at the, in the end, I didn't really know what I was doing. And that's why I was a newbie then, so I decided not to use Ichimoku anymore. I put Ichimoku aside and used other indicators, then I failed and failed, and then um, at the same time I was using the other indicators. I, I think I tried almost all the indicators. I, I don't even remember which indicators were using, but I was so curious. Uh, in terms of what kind of uh, indicators are there in the world. So I was using uh, many, many indicators in the past. And uh, I, but I kept failing, failing in terms of profits. I kept losing. So I decided to delete all the indicators and only use the price action and um, start to back to, no, back to the basics. And uh, I even didn't color the candles. I was only using the white color in bullish and bearish candles, all white candles. And um, I was testing myself to see if I can trade with these all white candles. With the lines also, lines in price actions, but all the white candles, I was kind of testing myself if I can read the chart correctly still. Yeah, and I did that because I was kind of going nuts and uh, I was kind of uh, angry myself that I was kept fading. So that's why I decided to leave everything behind, then uh, just use a price action. And then the, the way I see charts uh, start to make more sense to me. And then I've added Ichimoku, five lines, with the original default setting. And Ichimoku made much more sense to me than before. And then I read the Ichimoku original books and it even made more sense to me. Um, the reason why there are five lines, what it really means, the, each line of Ichimoku. And uh, I came to the conclusion that um, I use Ichimoku with the default, default setting with the five lines together. But why I tell you about, about this story today is, again, coming back to topic of knowledge versus wisdom. If I only have the knowledge of Ichimoku, for example, of five lines and three theories and Kyushu Ashi, then I won't be able to, for example, answer all the questions you have in Ichimoku community or in public. If I only have the knowledge, then every time you ask me some questions, I have to, I have to um, open the original books and look for the answer and reply to you. But I don't have to do it anymore because I have the wisdom. And this wisdom part is, um, this wisdom is based on my experience and therefore it's not logic. Um, experience is on my own like um, feeling or on my own um, on my own way to um, look up look at the markets with my knowledge and uh, I can tell about what's happening in the markets by Ichimoku five lines but um, it's like one-way communication so I will I'm seeing the market is trending for example but you may not see it if you have still limited knowledge about Ichimoku, then you may not see that it's trending, but for me it's trending, for example. But this comes from experience. Sometimes I can't explain logically why I think it's trending. 
Um, of course, I use Ichimoku, so if you follow me for a while, you know, I see Kumo Kijunsen angles mainly to capture the market directions, but uh, more than that, sometimes it comes from my experience. Even if I see Kumo up, Kijunsen up, sometimes I feel that the market retrace. Or if, even if I have entry edge, entry confirmation, sometimes I don't take it because something myself feels that it may retrace or it may range. So sometimes I don't enter trace. And the result is the market may retrace and or the market may go towards my direction without my positions. But it's okay with me. It's okay because um, I want to see how it plays out if I don't decide to do and then that becomes my wisdom also. In this way, I built my wisdom with my experience and I notice something new every time I take trades. I don't list everything I notice every time I take trades, but something in myself unconsciously, I remember the patterns in the markets, patterns in multiple time frames, and the candles and lines, the, the price action uh, patterns also, like doji break or engulfing breakout or pin bar reverse and so on. Uh, unconsciously, I read and uh, I read and, you know, decide what to do. So it's like reading the music score, for example. Um, if you are playing some music, then um, you know, you may know what I'm talking about. But uh, if you first look at the music score, and if you don't have any knowledge about the music score, then you don't know what to do. Although you know how to play, um, you, if you don't know how to read the music score, then you won't be able to play. And I think the feeling is about the same. Sometimes if you want to put the emotion into the music score, it comes from the experience. Same as sports. If you know how to kick, how to uh, kick the ball, but if you don't know the rules of the soccer or rules of the of the game itself, then uh, you may not be able to play, and you can't put emotion in your play. For example, so I hope you get the sense of what I say today. But knowledge versus wisdom. Um, is something I noticed today that's important. So I just wanted to share that. Um, so for me, as I mentioned before, uh, I also learn. I am a, I'm also a student of the Forex and Ichimoku. I keep learning and learning with my experience. And I'm sure I will um, keep making profits every year. Although the market conditions may change because of this mindset, I'm sure I can keep making profits every year because I value the wisdom through my experience than knowledge itself. Um, so, so that means the way I take trades may change uh, next year. If the market condition changes, sometimes without knowing myself, changing myself, I change the strategies. I change the timing of the entries, timing of the exits. Um, then um, after I look back, let's say last year trades in this year, sometimes I realize myself that I changed it. But uh, along the way in the process, sometimes I don't notice myself about the change. But uh, one thing for sure is that I keep changing in the future. I won't be using the strategy as it is now, as always. I keep changing, but I don't change big. I, I change minor uh, changes and uh, fine-tune and refine my trace. Um, yeah, so coming back to the main topic about the uh, wisdom and knowledge. If you are still new to, each, new to trading or if you're not still profitable, then uh, and, but if you think you have enough knowledge, then the next step for you is to have wisdom. And wisdom comes experience, I say. So experience comes from how long you, um, you uh, took trades, how many, how many trades you took, and how much, how much effort and time you took in your trades. 
and uh, every time try try something new and uh, try something that you think it works or that think it may not work also try and with this trial and error mindset uh, you know exactly what doesn't work so for, so for example for me it works but for some of you it may not work because I think that's a, tr that's a truth I may think that this is very sweet but for you it may not really sweet for example so we are different and what may work will be different too for sure so I, I wish you find your own way to get the wisdom and um, also get the obtain the, the experience through the knowledge you have and uh, I think that's the only way to get confident on your strategies and on your trades so yeah that's something that I noticed today so that's why I decided to take a quick video here so I hope you have a great week this week and uh, hope you can run some nice profits this week. So thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please press the like button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these videos or lives in the future. So I wish you have a great success and see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thanks so much.